A Bristol sewage works has come up with a way of making gas from human waste. It's the latest source of energy as scientists search for alternatives for the future. 99% comes from fossil fuels laid down millions of years ago. But in Bristol, they're trying to change all that. Our business correspondent Dave Harvey has been investigating how. So where do you get your gas from? Most of us get it from the North Sea, from Norway, from Russia. But here in Bristol, people will now be able to get their gas from a lot closer to home. If you've ever wondered what a million people's sewage looks like, this is it. Uh, it doesn't actually smell too bad. At the Avonmouth Sewage Works, they don't see human waste as a dirty problem, but as raw material for green energy. So we take what comes down the toilet and we process it in these digesters which are essentially giant versions of what happens in your stomach. So we decompose this material without oxygen to create methane, and the methane is what gets pumped into the national grid and into people's houses. They call it biogas, and they can make enough here for 10,000 homes. But to sell it, they need a partner. So this is all the sewage waste from Bristol? Yeah, that's right. This is where it comes. So it comes that's where the local energy firm owned by Bristol City Council comes in. They've launched a new renewable energy tariff. It costs £5 a month or so more, and you get green electricity and your gas from here. For every unit of gas that you use, we'll put a renewable one back into the national grid. It makes a difference because we're displacing fossil fuels, which means that we're putting a renewable source into the gas grid. Um, so less fossil fuels, more renewables, much, much better for the environment. This is really the only way of making renewable gas. Uh, we really like this deal with Bristol Energy because what better way of the circular economy in action than being able to sell back to the very people that produce the waste, the energy that we make from it. So how far will this gas go? Well, to produce enough gas for a Saturday fry-up like this apparently will take the average family about a week's worth of flushes. Now, this isn't going to solve global warming at a stroke. A city of a million produces enough gas for 10,000 households. But it is reliable. After all, the sun may not shine, the wind may not blow, but poo power, that's going to keep on coming, isn't it? Dave Harvey, BBC Points West, at Bristol's Poo Power Station.